many times as Christians, it will feel like we're battling. There in the headlights, like a day in the headlights. Where? Where do you go when there's nowhere to go? Freeze, flight, or stand there and fight, right? There are limited options. When your options are few, your life is flashing before you like a traffic light gone bad. You never get the green to go. The yellow doesn't stay long enough for you to proceed with caution. And no one seems to operate that machine. Do you cross the intersection when there's the possibility of causing a collision with an oncoming vehicle or do you obey a flashing red light that isn't exactly telling you to stop? What do you do? Where do you turn when you don't even know if to turn? Lord, I'm praying three times a day like getting substance with food. I've been fasting, feeding my faith while starving my doubts to death, yet I'm dying to know why. Why do these things keep happening to a good person like me? Don't you see? Because I don't see where you're going with this. I've done nothing new. You, I pray to, show me what to do because I need answers. What should I do? Should I go ahead breaking a man-made law that defies the very nature of the God I serve? Do I? Proceed with caution, praying and hoping I'm not caught in the act of dishonoring you or stop. You're flashing lights through scriptures. I'm not sure I get what you're doing. God, what are you doing? Through these series of circumstances, I keep finding myself in. I'm waiting while you're testing, believing while you're stretching. But if this is what set apart looks like, I didn't sign up here. When I said... Give myself away. Wasn't that my sacrifice? Didn't I pay the ultimate price in just walking up to the altar? I believed for so long that all I had to do was write one check that will cover everything. But now I realize that some items are no down payments, cash only deposits from the treasury of your very life. You collect for yourself, sometimes by yourself, and you'll bear the weight of purchase for yourself. But yet, will your heart and soul say yes? Listen can't be a fighter without entering the ring. You'll be beaten at first until you receive strategy, but be still. The predicament you're facing might be the process to receiving the very thing that you asked God for, and still, it is a strategy. I remember Daniel, thrown into the lion's den to be feasted upon like food. They thought his fate was sealed as the den was shut with a stone. They couldn't fault him and so they fed him, served him on a platter, but he made that platter his stone. I remember Jesus hung on the cross like a criminal who'd done wrong. Again, they thought his fate was sealed as the tomb was shut with a stone. They couldn't fault him and so they framed him, served him before the throne. Now he sits on the throne and you still think that bad things don't happen to good people? Listen, Christianity is not a label, it's a brand. You either rap hard or go home, just do it. Removing God from the equation doesn't minus suffering, it just increases it. But adding Christ to the equation divides the suffering so that you can bear it dying for us was not easy so how could we expect that in living for him God never promised that it would always feel good but he did say that he would work all things for our good and that is the sovereignty of God <laughs>